tell you that rant was recorded by only one man unheard of in today's times <laughs> one microphone and he of course is the score's one and only les grobstein and grobber joins us to talk about it les what were you thinking 30 years ago you're the only guy with a mic, and Ilya goes off. By the way, I still have that mic, and Knurko keeps asking me how much I want for the mic. He wants to buy it from me. Uh, Cap, I knew, and so did the three beat writers in there, Robert Marcus, Joel Berg, and Don Frisky. We all, everybody likes Lee Ilya to this day. We liked him then. We knew he was burying himself. And I tried to stop him midway through it, and I said, see you tomorrow. And he smiles and goes, okay. And then he started up again. And I was about to start out toward the field from that left field clubhouse the Cubs used to have. And he kept going. So I stayed a few more minutes. Eventually I got out of there. Joe Mushel, the AP who I also worked for at the time, I stopped him in the corner. I said, Joe, you got to hear this. He goes, this better be good. I played it for him, and he went, oh, my God, ran in there. I'm going into the old press box, which is now the mezzanine or uh, the, the, the area where the suites are. And as I'm walking down the stairs to go in, who comes out? Vince Lloyd, Lou Boudreau, and Harry Carey. I stopped the three of them and said, guys, I know you're probably out to dinner or whatever. you got to hear this. And all I remember was Vince going, Jesus, Lou, he's going to get his ass fired. And Lou goes, this is true, good kid. And Harry turned white as a ghost. And in the meantime, Vince had this big cigar the size of a tree truck, and it was spinning around in his mouth like Popeye the Sailor Man's pipe. Les, are, are these rants, are, are they predictable? Uh, I mean, could you sense this coming? It was ready to happen. You had to be there? Not, not a chance. I mean, they lost a bad game. Lee Smith threw a wild pitch in the eighth inning. The reason all the other media went over to the Dodgers' side is because Buffalo Grove native Mike Marshall was making his first Wrigley Field appearance. And he hit a homer in that game, by the way. And I don't think people wanted to ask him about his uh, the fact he was dating Belinda Carlisle of the Go-Go's, which he was. <laughs> But uh, the four of us were in there, and Lee greeted us. He says, hi, fellas, how you doing? But he was mad because, again, Boa, Say, and Moreland. Keith Moreland were getting beer dumped on him by four people. And Elias saw this, and he got hot. And he admitted to me later, he says, I should have calmed down less. I should have just cooled off before I had you guys come in there. He says, it was my fault. Les, thank you for taking time for us. Keep up the great work. People will tune in and listen to you later tonight. And uh, thanks for being with us at Cubs Pregame Live. Cap, Holly, good to see you guys. Thank you, Les. All right.